Okay, I come out clean and I come out here being honest. The moment that I reveal that, oh, you know what? I'm selling my soul to the devil. I am here that I'm going to be promoting things or I am going to... It's even harder to say, but let me say it anyways. The moment I do music and I want to blow so bad and I start shaming religion, dressing like a woman, and I come here, I promise you that I will blow the hell out of internet. If I come online and start... It's very painful to say, but come online and I just do something in my relationship like I found my wife doing this with another man or I come in here and I just try to find a way around that. I will be making a lot of money. And that is where so many influencers fail in life because they realize they do these things only because of the views. And you as a viewer thinking, ah, I'm entertained. But the truth is, the influencers and the people who upload this content, they suffer a lot. Me, as a content creator, it takes a lot of effort to do all these videos and whatever. But here the point is, since YouTube is paying me, I need to get the views. If I have more views and I put more ads, I'm going to get more money. A lot of influencers don't get the views anymore. Now, the influencer all of a sudden start to compromise. The influencer, let's say me, I started doing things out of place because I want to get those views. I'm becoming so desperate because I only get paid when there is views and I get paid through the AdSense. And when I get so much attraction, I have so many views, companies, they see that and they want to work with me. But the problem is people fail because they end up in an industry they don't want to. So here's my take. Accept to be authentic, number one. Be you, be the part, the person who the item you want to represent, be that person, be that brand. That way, if you blow, at least you blow doing what you want to do and you will be sustainable. You will be able to sustain that. But a lot of people would be happy when they see, oh, Adriza, I knew it. I knew this guy was, was a little bit zesty. I knew this guy was doing that. That's because I'm going to dress like a woman trying to promote my music for it to blow. I will never do that. No. So, this is one thing I want to say. It's so easy in 2024 to lose. And it's so easy in 2024 to win. There is a very thin line between a winner and a loser. As a winner, you have to choose principles. And as a loser, you don't even need nothing. You just... Do the mediocre stuff and you're just going to lose. It's inevitable. As a winner, this is what you need to do. If you want to win in life, no matter what you do in life, no matter, you need to understand something called delayed gratification. The delayed gratification is knowing that I can have that car right now. For me, like I'm speaking right now, I can have a Lamborghini right now. I want it and I want it now. But it's so hurting me. I'm thinking, ah, I should just get a Lambo, man. I should just get a, my M3 competition, the car that I want. But me holding that is called delayed gratification. And the main reason is because I know if I get that car, I am going to slow my business down. If I get that car, I'm just going to get the end result. Let me just hold it for now until I get the bigger payoff at the end. The delayed gratification is one thing that happens in so many things in life. People don't have that. They are willing to just sacrifice everything because they are avoiding pain. So, I'd rather delay gratification than delaying the pain. Let me give you an example. Imagine you was to eat. Imagine you was to eat vomit. It's extreme, but yeah. You eat vomit 
and then from there your life becomes successful but you either eat vomit first and then you drink water or you drink water and then you have the vomit a lot of people the 96 percent in these people in this life you would be very surprised they would rather drink the water and then just say ah, i'm just gonna i'm gonna try lick it and then slowly slowly until i finish it me on the other hand i am very extreme i would just go and i'll just drink the vomit if i have to and then i'll drink the water later i am very very different from so many people and that's why i don't relate to so many people and this is why i win in everything i do in life i win i win i win sometimes the wins don't come straight away but I always hold it and I just know one day I'm going to do this one day and I keep on doing it. This is a mindset of a winner. You focus on end results. You focus on providing value whatever, on whatever industry you are. Losers focus on the winners and the winners focus on winning. Let me tell you something. We are living in a generation where you can actually show somebody that is the way. If you go from here to there, you're going to see the end of the tunnel. All you have to do is just trust yourself and just look down and see the first step and take it and take the second step and the third and just keep taking one step to the right direction until you finish. So many people won't do that. This video is about delayed gratification. Delayed gratification is, like I said, wanting something that you don't need but you want it and you know if you get it now even though you can get it it's going to affect you on other things in life hi my name is adriano a lot of people already know me as king adriza i've been doing mediocre videos on youtube where i blow trying to do accent challenges trying to do i don't know pranks trying to dance shake my waist and, and, and stuff like that and for the fact that you know it's still entertaining but because I was too serious and I was so into it that sometimes I do things I'm thinking, why am I doing it? And now I've realized I'm not making money out of this. The money is not enough for me to even do that. But why am I even selling my soul? This is me selling my soul. I came on YouTube and I told people I'm going to quit YouTube completely. And this doesn't mean that I'm going to not be a YouTuber, but I'm just going to quit YouTube and find something that brings value and I'll come back. When I did that, I already started my business on the side and I swear to God, God is my witness. My mom is my witness, my family, my kids, on my kids' life. I took a leap of faith that no one believed. And all of a sudden, the leap of faith was starting my own business. A broke guy who come from Africa, didn't grow up with a dad, doesn't even know how to become a father. I became a father. But how am I going to be a father if I never had a father? How do I learn to be a good dad? I guess sometimes you're just going to have to take a leap of faith. Go on YouTube, search how to be a good father. Ask people who are doing it. And so many people are single parents. You know, they were raised with single parent, as in just a mom that never exists. And that's why I'm trying to be a better person. All of this just to bring you back here and saying, from where I come from, from what I do. Now I found a path, I would say. It's like this. This is where I was broke as hell. No, nothing. I was not even consistent on YouTube. Somebody say, oh, bro, you need to be consistent. You're going to make more money, which is true. But how can I be consistent going the direction of that way where I want to be? Something aligns with my principle. I realize I can still do these videos with my family, but that's not what I really want to do. I only do that if I want to, but not I have to do it. And now it got to a point I felt like I was being controlled with the masses, with the social media, trying to please everyone, including viewers. I cannot come here and say what I want to say because I'm scared I'm going to be canceled. So it took a lot from me. And I said, you know what? Let me just see what's going to happen if I don't upload, if I'm going to die. Let me just killed my YouTube AdSense, make sure that I don't depend on it and I start a new channel. And I went on TikTok shop and I decided to take 800 pounds that was left from my, 
my current um what's it called my crypto current account the crypto current account now is that how you say a crypto wallet i was saying i use something called binance and i lost twenty thousand pounds in liquid i had twenty thousand pounds i could just take it out the amount was going up and up and up but i put twenty thousand which i was going to get a bigger payoff well it turns out that it became a massive downfall i did not break i did not shake and i had this one thing that i cannot fail now the only way is to just go hardcore on youtube or whatever until i make it but on youtube i don't want to do the content that people want to see which is a family dancing whatever me shaking the waist i say okay what can i do i took the 800 pounds and i invested in my business and i bought products that i know i could sell god answered the prayers and i became one of the top sellers in tiktok in the uk we are now in july third july record this video I'll, I'll probably upload the same day today because it's easy for me to do these videos because it's the genuine video where I don't need to think. All I have to do is just put a camera, I speak, no editing, no nothing. But I think Logan need to sponsor me with this thing. Ah, I love this. That's him. <laughs> yeah, what was I saying? I decided to take the 800 and I pull my TikTok shop and I became the best seller. This is July 3rd. The month of July, May, June. In May, I made 50,000 pounds. I never thought I would be able to do that in one year, but I made it in one single month. This is amount that if somebody works in a warehouse as a manager, he thinks, wow. If I could make that amount back then, I would be like, wow, my life would have been so better right now. But thank goodness that never happened because I would have probably be a drunk, drunk head, crackhead. I would just have this money with nothing to do with it, not knowing how to direct the money. And I would lose just like how people like Mike Tyson lose the money. So let me teach you something very valuable. I'm not coming here to boost and say, oh, just because I made so much money on TikTok shop, now I can step all over everyone's head. No. This video is for inspiration to tell you what delight gratification is. That's my 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and I completely forgot. Now I even forgot about I need to chase subscribers. All I need to do is just provide value to the people with content that is meaningful. So. Let's put this on a side. And here, <laughs> it says, Hakuna Matata. Oh, hold on. Why is this upside down? Oh no, don't tell me it's upside down. But anyways, I'll be very upset if this is not showing. Oh God, I hope it's okay. There is something called the Dunning-Kruger effect. This thing is so real and so many people face this right now. I remember in Kenya, I nearly died because I went on a jump on this bridge called Buntwani. It's in Kenya, in Malindi, on the coastal area. <laughs> it's like this. I've done a video yesterday and I'm gonna do another one today. Here we call confidence, right? It's called confidence. And here we call the competence. My confidence was up here because I think I know. Think I know. Think I know. I jumped in this bridge in Kenya. We were young. We always go to this bridge and we just dive in this recording and we're just diving and just you know just diving and just come out and then my mom used to say don't go to this place kids get pushed whatever whatever but as a child curiosity you know is always there we went with kids and jump and one day one day i literally just jumped in the bridge i could have died i swear to god i drank so much water and it's funny because i don't know how to swim 
I listened to one of the friends that were there. We were still young. Oh, just jump. The water is not a lot. Which the truth is the water was not so much. I think if I stand, the water would be somewhere like here. If I stand. But mind you, I don't know how to swim. And there is always waves on the ocean. So I jumped. Let's say this is the, this is the bridge here. And there is stairs. And I jump. This is the stairs. And I just jump here. Right. So close. Where I can just jump. And then I can pull my hand. And I can go on the stairs. My confidence was so high. Because I have people who are saying. Oh, jump. It's okay. You can do it. Confidence is here. I think I know how I can. I can be able to swim. Just come here. I jumped and I nearly died. And all of a sudden, it's like my life, boom, within seconds, I felt like I was going to die. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. And I just depend that somebody will help. And now because I don't want to say, help me, I was, I was so stuck in my head. I was, instead of screaming, help, I'm trying to fight, get the water. And now the water is not so much, but I jumped and the wave is so big. And that means if the waves are higher than you, the water was here, but the wave is, is coming over the head and now I'm swallowing the water. And all of a sudden, I'm fighting for myself. I swear to God, this is the moment my life flashed. I thought I was going to die. Drink so much water. Now I'm trying to hold in. I cannot open my eyes because the water is so salty. Now holding the bridge, there is something called mashaza. Mashaza is those seashells. And that have been there for so many years. But every time the water comes and hit the wave of those uh, mashaza, the seashells, they become very sharp and it becomes like a knife. It becomes like a razor, so sharp. So I don't know. I went and I just hold like this and I cut myself. I was bleeding everywhere. Now that's when people are like, oh, no. The older people, oh, he's drowning. Somebody came and saved me. Here. Could not even scream because I am so, I am so, I don't know how I should say. I was so focused on just surviving here. And I'm scared of people who know what, I, like I'm drowning. And I just go here and I was going to just die. And this is where people fail in life. You think you know your confidence is up here. It's called the Dunning-Kruger effect. And the more you learn about that particular thing, the more I realize that swimming is jumping. You need to know how to swim. If not, you're going to die. You need to know how to go with the waves, how to swim towards the waves so that it doesn't push you outside. And when you push you to the shore and then the wave come back, it will pull you back. I didn't know that. Here, confidence zero. Everything I felt I was going to die. There is something very important with this message here. Check this out. I've realized that if I tell you a story like that, it would make you actually relate to this very, very well. I had confidence. I can jump. I jumped because somebody said I can do it. And I did. And I just followed blindly. And I jumped here. But the competence is me proving that I can actually do it because I actually know how to do it, but I didn't. I jumped and now I realize I have no competence. I don't know anything about this drowning here. This is where you and so many people in life fell. Pardon me. You and so many people in life fell because you are here. You don't have the knowledge of whatever you want to do. My thinking here is, if you have delayed gratification, meaning that's the video intros, delayed gratification. Just hold the parties. If you want to make it in life, don't just follow the crowd because say, oh, let's just go to the parties just one day. You are losing in this real time. We are living in a world where everyone is in a competition with everyone else. The job we want, you have to compete to be the leader. You want to compete with somebody else in the interview. Now, we are in a world where everything is competition. We are in a world where there is so many mediocre, so much destruction, doom scrolling. You go on Instagram or TikTok, you're just scrolling, you don't know why, because it's programmed to keep you that way, to keep you dumb, a dummy. But then again, if you just jump to the other side of knowing what you're doing, this is life. 
And now let's say in this life we want to learn e-commerce. So many people go online and they want to sell online because, oh, I see people selling, they're making millions on YouTube. I want to be like them because my life is miserable. I want to get 10,000 pounds a month. I promise you, it's easy to make 10,000 pounds a month. Even easier to make 100,000 if you know what you do. Now, this is where the problem comes. People go on YouTube and they want to just make a thousand pounds a month a day easily so that you get they can get 30k a month or 10,000 a month let's say 10,000 pounds a month oh i've seen adriano making 10,000 a month on youtube oh but they don't know they focus on, now the people are the losers they focus on me as a winner they lose because they focus on me and instead of me focusing on them i focus on what i provide the the value and the value comes from solving a problem of a particular niche for me is industry uh, for me is fitness industry i focus on providing value to people who want to get abs i want to provide value to people who want to get stronger giving them the value through the product i i am able to make ten thousand pounds a month easily why because i am not chasing the money i am chasing the value that give that goes to people i am chasing that I need to go, what value can I provide? What should I do to people? What can I help them so that they can have quick results? How can I, that is the thing that I do. And for me, I am very stubborn. I am gonna go for it. I do the hardest thing, thing fast, always. This is why I always had abs. Why? Abs is the hardest thing. Everyone is wanting abs, but they don't have it because it's so difficult. But because it's so difficult, people leave it until the end of the session and they don't train abs. They want to do diet, but they're thinking, ah, I have to eat this one. Do it first thing in the morning. When you wake up, do abs. When you wake up before anything, pray. Because praying is so easy, but then again, it's the hardest thing. People forget. People thinking the hardest things are the hardest thing. But no, the hardest things are the simple things that are there. The basic things, like praying. Like you wake up and you do exercise. Do abs first. No, it's too hard. So... You do the hardest thing first and you can be able to overcome. Now the delay gratification here is when I wanted to make money online like anyone else, I go on YouTube and I was looking people making money and I had no knowledge and I started to say, oh, that's all you need to do. Find a product from China, put a logo and start selling on Instagram. I did that and I failed miserably. I thought I knew I had so much confidence I would sell. I bought so much units, 1,000 units, and guess what? Here, boom, confidence goes down as time. And I failed here. This is what we call the valley or the valley, valley of death. You die here. It's, it's like a, it's a valley, if you know what I mean. You die here. The confidence is gone. Now everyone is proving you right. I told you you're going to fail. I told you this thing is not possible. I told you. And these are the people you don't want to be like them. But you're adapting the mentality of them. You're adapting that person. You're becoming that person that tells you, you cannot make it on social media. But how are they knowing that you cannot make it or you can? And you're not them. The main reason they say that is because they're introducing their insecurities and their knowledge to that particular industry. I can tell you that if you want to make it on social media, you can. If you want to make it to become a doctor, you can. You want to make it as a lawyer, you can. There is nothing you can come to me and say, I want to do this, bro. I really want to do this. And I'm going to say you cannot do it. No. But the truth is, if you want to do something, do it well. Study. Learn from the people who have done it so that you can avoid the mistakes. Me. If I was to jump on that, that bridge, I would find somebody who knows how to swim and say, teach me how to do this. What is the first step? What should I do? Ask all the questions. Don't think that you're stupid. No. Ask the question, what should I do? What should I expect? What, what's going to happen if I cannot swim? Just scream. Just, raise your, just, you know, I would know. Scream. Oh, help. And I'll come and help you. Ask all these questions. How should I... Should I jump and close my nose? What, you know, all these questions you need to ask. You need to learn from somebody who's doing it. These people who are doing this, they have done it for time. And maybe they, 
They went in there and they drank water as well. They nearly drowned and they say, if you do that, if you jump there, there is a hole. If you just go there and you close your eyes, you don't want to see what you need to do. Just open your eyes. At least they have done it so they will teach you and that way you're going to avoid the mistakes. Because one thing, scars are lessons. We all know that. Oh, don't hide the scars, but I have scar here. I got this scar from a care home job. A crazy man nearly cut my hand. One guy nearly, uh, is he called gouging my eye? And boom, like that, scratching me. All these scars, they tell a lesson. These are history. But then again, if I worked with somebody who knew that client so well, they would have told me, be careful if this guy start to shake or screaming for no reason, don't go close to them because they get agitated because it's too hot in the room. I didn't know this. I worked with somebody new, me and them, we were left together in some, with somebody who is so crazy. Go scratch, I didn't know that. But since I have these cars, I have a lesson. What I'm trying to say is, you don't have to get the same scars as I do because you might end up getting bigger scars or smaller scars. Only because you want to get a lesson, come on. No. Now, I say, bro or sis, don't do that because if you do that, you're going to end up with scars. But I can give you lessons without you having scars. You can give somebody lessons without them drowning here. Same thing, online. Yes, I am making 10,000 pounds at least every single month because it's not a lot. It felt a lot in the beginning. Wow, so much money. Wow, I used to get excited. Now I don't feel excitement anymore because 10,000, 10,000, now all of a sudden 50,000 from one product. What's new? What's next? Like I've seen it. It doesn't feel anything anymore because now I realize my confidence is up here. And here is where people confused. My confidence is here. I know I am. Confidence. I know. Here is I know. I can. Here is I think. I know. Does it make sense? Here is I know because I'm confident. It's with time. Here is you think you know. When you do online business, if you want to make it online, you have to find somebody who's doing what you want to do specifically. Don't say I want to learn how to do drop shipping and then you're going to learn Amazon FBA is two different things. Oh, I want to learn how to sell on TikTok shop and you're going to learn drop shipping with AutoDS or you want to jump on crypto or you want to jump in uh, stocks and shares. Learn specifically from somebody who's doing that. I tell you that because the person that don't know what they're doing, they have done it. They have made mistakes and they'll help you cut the time. Invest in yourself, invest in the competence here, the knowledge for that particular industry. Now, you want to come and study how to make money online. You think you know everything. You go in China, you buy stuff, and now your confidence all of a sudden is gone to zero. Ooh, boom, hit down very hard. Now everyone say, oh, you see, I told you, you cannot do it. You cannot, it's no, it's impossible. And these are the people who are close to you, your family, your friends your neighbors, the people who are so close to you because they have not done it. They don't know it. And now you're adapting that thinking and you're thinking, oh, you know, just find a normal job. You find a normal job, you become miserable, you stay there for the rest of your life. Living an unfulfilled life, that is the most painful thing. And you're thinking, what if this thing works? Okay, what if? But I guess you never know. Why? Because you never found somebody who knows how to do this and trust them and let them help you. Because Mike Tyson has a coach. Arnold Schwarzenegger had a coach how to act. Anyone you can think of, they always have somebody who teaches them how to do it well. It's because you, when you are in it, you don't see it. When outside, for example, playing draft or connect four, from the outside you see, ah, you should have just put that move, like chess, you should have gone there. But inside you don't see it. You need somebody from the outside to help you. Learn. If you think you know, remove the mentality this you think you know everything. Okay? Now, when you start learning, you realize there is something called delayed gratification. Delayed gratification is the results are not going to be as quick as you was expecting from not knowing what you need to do. Now, you understand, oh, delayed gratification, that's what he was talking about. Let me delay the pain. 
oh no, let me delay the gratification but not delaying the pain. The pain is, uh, how long are you willing to suffer here from jumping one thing to another? Because so many people are so stuck into ways and jobs, they don't know. They jump from one job to the next, to the next, to the next and realize it's always the same. Bad, bad job, very crappy payment. They don't like the manager, they don't like the staff, they don't like the traffic in the morning, they don't have time to spend with their family, everything is just gone sideways and they get stuck, they apply for different jobs and it's the same thing and they're fighting over the same position. How long are you gonna do that? If I was you, I would go online and find a business that works for me. What is it? Me personally, I've tried so many things. I've tried drop shipping, I failed, I tried Amazon FBA, I'm, I'm still doing that, but I don't recommend it because it's more expensive and it's harder to sell. And then I found TikTok shop. I went on TikTok shop and I went all the way in. I make sure that I left no stone unturned. Study, 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 became so good. And now I am confident here. I know I can do this. I have proven competence. Competence comes with time. I have learned, I have failed, I have made mistakes, I have invested time, money, effort, everything. You don't have to do the same thing. If you wanna learn how to sell on TikTok shop, for me, I would say it's easy. Find a winning product, put a logo, test the product, go and find a manufacturer that sell it cheaper, test samples, make sure that the sample is better so that you're confident in what you sell. Before that, you need to make sure this is something you're passionate about. So you don't chase the money, chase the, results of the customers that's what you need to do focus on results are they going to get results when i do this because you don't want to cheat people you don't want to trick people into thinking ah if they're just gonna buy it i'm gonna you know sell it why they're not gonna they're not gonna uh, suggest your products to people when they watch it next time they're gonna talk rubbish about it now let's say you're making money now for one month ten thousand but you're scamming people you are in you are you want to hurt people because the product doesn't even provide a solution. Next time you want to scale the business, you're going to put so much money in ads and you are going to fail very miserably. miserably. And that is because people have already spoken about your products. They have already said it's rubbish, it's crap. It doesn't solve any problem. Now you spend all this money and you end up with bad reviews. If you focus on the right thing and you work hard right now, delay the gratification of, I wanna get the 10,000 quickly in one month without even knowing what you're doing, you're gonna fail. And when you fail, you're gonna compromise. Compromising, you end up now spending money on rubbish things. You don't know what to do. You're gonna end up taking advice from everyone. Now you're gonna end up becoming depressed and you're gonna become a quitter. You quit because you focus on the wrong thing. If I was you, I would find something that has been proven to work a product a product that solves a problem a problem in a niche niche is very e easy or i would say industry a niche is an industry narrow it down what so problems do you think you can solve how can you solve it provide a solution how find a product where exactly find a product buy cheaper sell it more that way at least you have your you have your profit you have your VAT, you have your taxes to pay accountant and everything else and you pay yourself and get out of that miserable job. But this is gonna come with effort. You need to invest in your self-education. Learn, 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 learn. Don't be scared because there was, and I'll give you a story quick. There was two people who were going to chop down a tree. I think you've heard of this story. Chopping down the tree and all of a sudden, they go there at the same time, 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. So it's a massive tree, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. Big, big tree. But one guy, all of a sudden, he disappears for two, three hours. And he, the other one was not even taking breaks. And he asked himself, why all of a sudden his tree is very close to like being cut down? And he is spending less time there. And he asked the other colleague, he say, my bro, why do you cut your tree faster? How do you hit it? He said, I'm hitting it exactly like you. But why is your tree is going down faster? And he said, because every three hours I realize I cannot chop down a tree with a blunt ax. So what I do is I take three hours and I pull back, I regain my energy, and then at the same time I sharpen my ax. 
When I do that, the tree is easy to chop. This guy was stuck in here trying to chop down a tree. That means he's spending effort, time, um, for us it will be time, effort, sweat and tears, whatever you're going to call it. All much, so effort, so much time not to cutting a chopped tree because it's a blunt axe. The other one takes a break. He sharpens the knife, I mean the axe, so that he can do the work better. He understands he needs to learn the game and confidence goes up like that. So you need to delay the gratification that you cannot just make it on social media because you're thinking other people have done it. Oh, Chunks, all he does is just laughing on, t on YouTube. He's just smiling. Try and do that and see if you're not going to fail. Most likely you will. If you're not going to follow what he done. He uploaded videos that are s like long videos, so many videos. He upload, upload, upload. He's consistent, consistent. And he's so consistent and making mistake and realize this is what people like. So it's over time. This is time. You learn and you become good. And then all of a sudden, it seems like it's an overnight success. Oh, he just made it from nowhere. Now, these people put in effort, time. They have spent money investing and crafting their industry. So this video is about making it online. How you're going to be able to sell online. I've already given you a blueprint. Find a winning product. But before you do that, you need to test this product samples. Before you get a sample, you need to identify what problem you want to solve. Now, where, are you, where do you want to solve this problem? In the niche. Identify everything. When you find it, now sell the product many, many times to so many, many people. But the problem, the product has to solve a problem. But you need to find the right people to promote your product. Because you cannot ask somebody who is a chef to promote something to do with cars. You need to find the right people. You can learn all of these things on YouTube everywhere. But the problem is misinformation, half information, and then you're going to end up here. Now, I can offer you a solution. I am looking for few people that want me to be their personal coach, one-to-one -one coach. I know, oh, yeah, he's trying to sell me something. And that's why I say few people, because not everyone is willing to invest in themselves. Not everyone is willing to actually take action and take a leap of faith in the right direction. So many people thinking, oh yeah, I knew he's going to sell me something. No. As soon as you have the mentality, you realize this was never for you. Because everything that I've said here makes sense back to the value of death. You think you know everything, you think you can do everything by yourself, and that's why you keep on failing and failing and failing. Why don't you find somebody who does what you do? Now, what do I do? I sell on TikTok shop. I became a star shop seller in the month of June. That means I was 4.9 out of 5 ratings. 97% no, 97% of the peers, the people who are selling, they did not win. I was top 3. It's huge. It's huge. The guy that used to come on YouTube dancing, the guy that never had any idea on how to sell all of a sudden it becomes so good there must be something that these other people don't know but if they come to me i will help them learn and they will have the confidence back and the more you know the more you spend time but you can catch the time of you spending and you come here and you're just gonna go straight shoot up because this time of making mistakes the time of trial and error is cut why Somebody's teaching you exactly step by step. Step by step. Now you have avoided all the problem. Now you're becoming confident and people say, oh, it's an overnight success. No, it's not. It's effort. It's delayed gratification. It's the fact that you just go for the pain right now. Don't delay the pain, but delay gratification. Don't think, oh, you're going to be doing it because, oh, you've seen it there. Learn now, quick. Learn the right things and then now start selling. And then boom. Not gonna fail, but well, people still want it now. They're thinking, Oh, yeah, I can do it by myself. Uh, all I have to do is just go on YouTube and search, and they think they know, and then they guess what they fail. Now they're gonna start blaming the society, they're gonna start blaming everyone. Oh, people are scamming online. Oh, you can just go there and you cannot make it. It's saturated. No, the game of e commerce is very saturated right now, but that's not a bad thing. Saturation means there is attention. I've said this and I'm going to say it again. 
money flows where attention goes. If the attention is on social media, if every kid, every mom, every dad, everyone now is on social media, the attention is there. Just find a problem they are facing and provide them a solution by selling a product. Now, oh, that's easy. No, it's not just easy. You need to know what is the product, how to sell it, how to sell it to them, how to advertise it, finding influencers, spending less time perfecting the, the product or spend more time perfect the product and then less time selling because you're not selling it. It's just gonna work. Build a curiosity around the product. It's gonna solve their problem. They're gonna end up buying because the, pro the product solves their problem. But I will say this on and on and on and on. But guess what? People don't wanna take action. People want quick results. They don't even wanna work hard for it. They're thinking, oh, it's guesswork, no. And that's all I have to say, delay gratification. Delay the pain is gonna make you lose, but delaying gratification is gonna make you win in the end results. Delay the pain now or suffer for the rest of your life. Or delay gratification now, and then you win over time and then you become a champion. It is that simple. If you trust me more than enough, the first link will take you to my um, community that is thousands of people already in there already learning. Some people already have results. Some people in there, they're still paying that they don't get results. And that is because they don't want to follow. They're thinking, oh, it's going to be easy. No, it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to put time. It's easier than other places where you don't have information. There, there is all information. You can learn everything. But they don't want to put the work and that's why they fail. Because they want it now. No, you're going to have to learn. And to make it even better, you can actually say, you know what, Adri, I want you to be my personal coach. I trust you more than enough. I know you can do it. I know you can help me do that because I've done it. I can help you. 10,000 pounds a month. I can help you do that. 120 days you work with me, guarantee you have to see results. If not, I am going to ruin my reputation. I don't want that. I've done it. So you can do it. You do the work. I help you. And that is it. And the second link, it will take you to a community of your own. You create a community, teach people what you know, give them information and you get paid. And it's that simple. Try for 14 days, you don't like it, cancel. That is it. All I have to say is delay gratification and boom.